Kylian Mbappe is one of the best football players in the world. With his wonderful game, he delights millions of viewers in front of their televisions. At the age of 19, he reached the World Cup at the same time, he became the youngest goal scorer in a World Cup final since Brazil's Pelé and the third youngest world champion in history. We should also remind you that he is one of the main candidates to win the Golden Ball in the future. By the way, we think that it will not end with one award. You and I know Mbappé for his outstanding pace and close ball control. Despite the accolade, we realize that only a few people have perused a concise life story of Mbappé. Why is he so special? Is it luck? or maybe hard work. Did he go to school? Why did he get the unique nickname Donatello? That is why we have prepared it for your viewing pleasure and for the love of the game. Without further ado, let's begin. Kylian Mbappé, success story. Starting with his biography, Kylian Adesanmi Lotin Mbappé is the full name carried by the famous footballer. Born on the 20th of December 1998 in the northeastern suburb of Paris in Bondy, France, Kylian is the first child of his parents, Faiza Mbappé Lamari and Wilfried Mbappé. Interestingly, his entry into the world coincided with France's victory in the 1998 World Cup at the Stade de France, just 11 kilometers from his family home. Kylian's early years in Bondy were marked by challenges, as the Paris suburb was once plagued by violence and riots particularly during the 2005 riots, one of the borough's most turbulent periods. The neighborhood where Mbappe's family home stood witnessed the burning of many cars and public buildings. Bondi, just 10 kilometers from Paris, has gained a reputation as a hotbed of crime and social turmoil, as highlighted in the New York Times article about Kylian Mbappe and the Banlieues boys. Despite the adversity of growing up amidst civil unrest, Kylian's destiny as a future football legend was secured thanks to the unwavering commitment commitment of his father, Wilfried Mbappe, a football coach. Even in the face of the unrest, he vowed to protect his son's future. In a Bondi neighborhood that experienced many challenges, young Kylian remained committed to his passion for football, never letting go of the ball. Mbappe's obsession went as far as him taking his football to his bed and using it as a pillow to aid sleep. In an interview, his dad once said about his football-obsessed child, Kylian has been more than passionate about football. I think he's crazy. His love for it almost puts me off even though I view myself as a football coach. He's always into it, 247. Killian watches everything. He can watch four or five matches in a row. The Frenchman comes from an athletic middle-class home that revolves around a sporting lifestyle. Put simply, Kylian Mbappe's family is an integral part of Bondi's vast working-class community. Today, Bondi is recognized as a town that humbly pays homage to its greatest football hero, as evidenced by the poster adorning the building where Mbappe spent his childhood. Wilfried is the head of the family, who worked as a football coach for many years. Faiza Lamari, Kylian's mother, achieved success as a handball player. From the very beginning, Kylian Mbappe's parents made sure that every member of the family played sport as their main activity. Jiris Kembo Ekoko, Wilfried's adopted child, is a professional footballer, and the rest of Kylian's half-siblings have also followed in his footsteps. His parents' roots are also very interesting. To begin with, we will trace his ancestry to three African countries, Nigeria and Cameroon, through his father, and Algeria through his mother. Wilfred Mbappe is a Cameroonian with Nigerian family ties who, seeking refuge, migrated to northern France in search of better opportunities. Faiza Lamari is of Algerian cable descent. According to French media, Wilfred, in search of permanent residence, married Faiza Lamari, who later became the mother of the self-proclaimed future football goat. Although football was his main passion as a child, young Killian attended the conservatory music school from the age of 6 to 11. During this time, he found found himself immersed in the world of music, learning to read notes and studying flute playing. Killian attributes his proficiency in his second favorite hobby, singing, to his teacher, Celine Bognini, while expressing gratitude for her guidance, along with his dedication to football. In the past, when his music teacher directed the choir, Killian enthusiastically joined the performances at Bondi Town Hall Park. The repertoire included a varied selection of songs, mainly French. Despite a brief stint at school, where he coincidentally shared a class with William Saliba, Killian prioritized football over other activities and rejected unnecessary commitments. His father conducted private study sessions with Killian, offering a unique form of home education. Killian's football journey took a significant turn at the age of six in 2004, when Wilfried enrolled him at AS Bondi, the club where he trained. It was the start of an intense focus on football development. From a young age, Killian contributed to AS Bondi's trophy collection under his father's tutelage. 
college, honing his skills in clinical finishing, speed, and dribbling. In fact, one of his youth coaches at AS Bondi, Antonio Riccardi, once said this about him. The first time I coached Killian, you could tell he was different. He could do much more than the other children at AS Bondi. Killian's dribbling was already fantastic, and he was so faster than the others. He remains the best player I've ever seen in my 15 years coaching children. In Paris, I know many talents, but I'd never seen a one like him. Apart from hours of football, Killian's childhood deviated from the typical social activities of his peers. Unlike William Saliba, who was also under the coaching care of his father, Killian's upbringing was far from conventional. Instead of attending typical children's events such as birthday parties, his parents chose a unique approach to raising their son. They came up with the idea of introducing Killian to football heroes, avoiding the usual children's activities. With their goals set high, Faiza and Wilfried began their mission to introduce Killian to his first football idol. French icon Thierry Henry. Meeting the Arsenal legend was an unforgettable moment, even if at the time, the footballer had no idea that he was in the presence of a five-year-old who would break two of his national records. The next stop on this adventurous journey was meeting a football figure with a similar family background to Killian's mother. When Killian met Zinedine Zidane, the Real Madrid legend had no idea that the ordinary boy would later break his Champions League record. Wilfried Mbappé believed in preparing his son for the realities of life from an early age, forming a deep deep bond with Killian and sharing valuable life lessons. Their outings together consistently focused on discussions about football, leaving an indelible mark of a true father and son friendship that has remained unbreakable. Back in the day, Killian, accompanied by his parents, was a regular visitor to the Stade René to watch his older half-brother in action. As Killian approached his teenage years, Wilfred sensed that it was time for his son to move from his current soccer home at AS Bondi to a more respected academy. As such, the family decided that it was in Killian's best interest to join his older brother at Stade René FC. The opportunity materialized in the form of tests, presented as a detection tournament for children under 12. Dressed in Stade René's kit, young Killian showed his exceptional talent, single-handedly leading his team to victory in the competition. As a standout player, Killian quickly became a priority for the René recruitment team. Recognizing his potential, the club was determined to send officials to Killian's family home in an attempt to convince Faiza and Wilfried to enroll their son in the prestigious academy. According to Dreosi, one of René's employees, We tried our best. My team went to Bondi many times to negotiate with his parents. They are people we know well. Wilfried and Faiza are very interesting sports persons. We tried making offers, but didn't succeed. The bidding took place, and we failed to win the race. After unsuccessful negotiations with Ren, Kylian Mbappe finally signed up to the French National Football School. Clairefontaine is famous for improving the skills of the country's best young talent. It was at Clairefontaine that Kylian began his journey to the Hall of Fame, joining the ranks of outstanding graduates such as Thierry Henry, Nicolas Anelka, Blaise Matuidi, Hatem Ben Arfa, and William Gallas. As a result of his outstanding performances at Clairefontaine, Kylian attracted the attention of well-known European clubs, including Chelsea, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Manchester City, and Bayern Munich. These clubs have extended invitations for tests, noting the young soccer adept's enormous talent and potential. At the age of 12, Kylian Mbappe went on a journey to meet European teams who wanted to assess his football skills. The first destination of this trip was England. Upon arrival, Mbappe's parents booked a flat where the boy decorated the walls with wallpaper, depicting his idol, Cristiano Ronaldo. After an impressive 8-0 victory over Charlton, an overjoyed Mbappe returned home, proudly posing with a personalized Chelsea shirt, assuming he had won the club's favor. Unfortunately, Chelsea FC did not make an offer. Undeterred by this failure, Mbappe's parents accepted an invitation from Zinedine Zidane to visit Real Madrid. During the trials, the young talent took the highly awaited opportunity to meet his idol Cristiano Ronaldo. For Mbappe, it meant the fulfillment of a big dream to see and emulate the player he admired. Ronaldo had no idea that the once shy boy would later challenge his dominance in world football. After unsuccessful negotiations with various European clubs and his parents, the young talent finally found his place at Monaco. At AS Monaco, Kylian Mbappé experienced a remarkable development, moving quickly from the academy to senior football. In a moment that brought joy to the whole house, Mbappé signed his first professional contract on the 6th of March 2016. Sadly, with little game time, the young forward got frustrated. The situation reached boiling point, leading his father to warn that Kylian
Killian would be looking for a transfer in the January window if things did not improve. In response to the pressure, Monaco manager Leonardo Jardim took the decisive step of starting Killian in a crucial match against Montpellier. That game was a breakthrough for Mbappé, as he played a significant role in the team's resounding 6-2 victory. From that day onwards, the rising star has not looked back on the world football stage. His remarkable contribution of 26 goals in the 2016-2017 season played a key role in Monaco winning the League One title. After announcing his name to the world, a transfer rush followed. This led to a whooping 145 million euros plus 35 million euros in add-ons world record transfer paid by Paris Saint-Germain. At the club, Mbappe met the demands of being the most expensive teenager by helping PSG win a treble, League One Player of the Year, and top scorer. In May 2018, Mbappe was called up to join the France squad for the Russia 2018 World Cup. In a formidable forward partnership with Antoine Griezmann, he became the second teenager after Pele to score in a World Cup final, helping France win the tournament. Mbappe's post-World Cup career saw him winning back-to-back -back league top goalscorer. The forward's talent and precocious performances for club football have seen him grab plenty of honors at his young age. More importantly, it is a sign that Kylian Mbappe is destined to take over from Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo reign as football goats. The backstory of his unique nickname. In 2017, there was a backstage confrontation between Neymar and Kylian, prompting Mbappe's mother to express discomfort over her son's persistent comparisons to Donatello, the teenage ninja turtle. She feared that even Dani Alves had joined forces with Neymar in teasing Kylian with that nickname derived from his appearance. Around November of that year, Thiago Silva gave the striker a pre-Christmas gift, unaware that Neymar was behind the playful threat. When Mbappe opened the box, he discovered a teenage mutant ninja turtle mask, and the the video quickly went viral. Fans, inspired by the incident, began dressing up as the turtle, leading to unexpected invasions of the pitch. Initially feeling that the joke had gone too far and tired of being the object of ridicule, Mbappe eventually adopted the nickname Donatello, recognizing the light-hearted nature of the situation. In both their words and actions, we commend Wilfried and Faiza Lamari for instilling in Killian the essence of life well before he reached the age of 16. Despite the challenges faced by the family in Bondi during the years following his birth, they steadfastly refused to let the harsh realities of Bondi dictate their son's destiny. Jiris Kembo Ekoko, though not enjoying a more prosperous career, became Kellyan's first idol, illustrating the profound impact of the Big Brother effect. Today, that influential role has been passed from Kellyan to Ethan Adeyemi, a figure we eagerly anticipate witnessing flourish in the future. Amid speculations about Kellyan's future, given his apparent lack of fervor to extend his stay at PSG according to reports from Le Parisien, one certainty remains. Kylian Mbappé, is destined to ascend to the forefront of football's leadership, inheriting the mantle from legends such as Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Thank you for taking the time to explore our concise biography of Kylian Mbappe. We trust that it has sparked inspiration, reinforcing the belief that we each have the capacity to craft our unique stories. The key lies in cultivating discipline, self-control, and perseverance on the path to career success.